Part two of today's adventure. We have our fishing rods in hand with crab traps on the end of them and we are gonna come out here and see if we can get some crabs to take the bait and come home with us for a delicious dinner. Oh yeah. With the tide coming back in, we move over to the small town of Gearhart with a population of about 1,500 people. Unlike clamming, Truax Outdoors has been crabbing before and on these very shores. Not only that, but he has managed to hit the limit of the amount of crabs he's able to take home from this spot. So we are happy to follow him out along the beach to where he says to go. All right, guys, we are back. We are over at Gearhart right now and uh, way lower tide than I was expecting after coming off of the lowest tide where we were um, over at Sunset Beach and now we're at Gearhart and it looks like the tide's almost still going out. We we're hoping it'd be coming in but uh, there's a nice pool here and there's possibility of crabs hanging out in it so I'm gonna cut up this piece of fish right here and we're gonna fill up the crab traps where these are called crab snares. Here why don't you come over here and we'll, we'll show you guys how this is done. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna cut up little chunks and this is some nasty nasty fish. I'm just trying to cut up little chunks here And then we want to fill these guys up. And so you take this and you lift up the trap there, the, the trap door. And we take this nasty old fish. And the big key that the beach bandit always tells me is make sure you don't go skimp on the on your bait. You really get it good and full. And I'm honestly not sure what fish I'm using right now, but that's okay. Because really. They crab like anything. I mean, you could use tuna fish if it's all you had, and like from a can, and it would work. People use cat food sometimes. All that fun stuff. So you do that. Open up your trap. Get the snares out of the way there. Fill it up with. Fill it up and then close it. So these are new rods too that I got for this purpose. New reel, the whole nine yards. So we're gonna do this. First cast with the new ones. See if there's any any crabs in here. After a few casts and checks with no bites, we decide to move just a little bit further down the beach. That does not seem to yield us any better results though, as the crabs just have not woken up yet. Figuring that we need just a little bit more time for the tide to come in and seeing a geocache about a quarter mile away, I decide to walk up the beach and see if I can track it down. As soon as I gain just a little bit of elevation, I find myself within the beach dune fields. Somewhere up here within the vegetation on this dune is the geocache I came up here seeking. It's just a matter of following my senses until I come up with the prize in hand. It's crazy to me how many people there were around us hunting for crabs down on the beach, but as soon as I came up here onto the sand dunes, it was just me and the grass rippling in the wind. Talk about a spot to put a bench. The sound of the ocean just over the hill there, and this view. The tide should really be coming in by now, so it's time to start making our way back to Truax Outdoors and Flip. But rather than taking the beach, I'm going to explore my way through the dune. The crabbing wasn't exactly moving in full speed yet. That's to say nothing was happening at all. But the tide's still coming in and the odds get better as it comes in. But for now, taking a walk, third of a mile out and a little ways back to go find a geocache out here, just on the sand covered dunes, right above the Pacific Ocean. This is definitely my kind of hike. The view in every direction is beautiful and despite us being right on the beach, I'm the only one out here. I'll take it. To sweeten the deal even further, as I approached the end of the dune trail, there was an adventure lab to greet me. It would ultimately take me all the way back around the bluff to the parking area where we had started before I could turn around and hike my way back to Truax Outdoors and flip. 
I found myself mesmerized by the natural beauty of this pathway. Nothing quite like making a find and tracking down a few Adventure Lab stages to wind down just enough time for that tide to start coming in for real. I can see that Flip and Truax Outdoors are down below just where I left them, still holding on to the fishing poles. It is easy to see just how much the tide has come in now. I think it's time to get down to some crabbing. All right, it's coming up on time now. I think we're just about to start making some catches. We can see them. One, two, right there in the water. Teasing us. Not quite taking the bait. Oh, but they're going to. Flip can't resist. He drops a crab trap right on top of one of the crabs we see and sure enough, pulls it up like a breeze. All right, so I kind of sight fish this one because they're just now waking up as the tide comes in. And uh, yeah, that one came and checked it out and I snagged it, but it is a female, so we got to let her go. So here she goes back while she tries to get me. And she's united and happy back on her merry way. Opening the bale. And there it is, look at that, like a pro. All right, Matt got his first crab from the Pacific Ocean. How do you feel, buddy? All right, I like it. I'm yeah. digging this. Hey, little girl. Uh, unfortunately, we can't keep you, so you got to go back. We're going to... Oh, she's getting tangled. Yeah, we're, we're untangling that. Come here, sweetheart. Come here. There we go. All right, All right so you just got to grab her butt. Come here. Those back things won't hurt you. They'll just feel weird. Okay, I can live with that. Yeah. Okay. There you go. It's, it's just the front things that hurt you. Well, she's trying to get me. There you go. There he goes. Yeah! All right. <laughs> With those crabs now moving hot and heavy through the channel that we're fishing, there's plenty of opportunities to cast and reel. I'm having a whole lot of fun out here now that these crabs are really starting to bite. All right, guys, we just got a double header here. Uh, of course, the camera wasn't rolling when we did that, but there are two two females. We're gonna toss them back. We got female and male, male. Let's go. What? This is a male right here. For the first time in First male. male catch. Will it be a keeper though? That's the question. Right that here. dude's fate is about to be decided. Hey Mel, you know, just mag followers so you know, and, and my guys know this. So if the apron like this is wide, it's a female. If it's narrow, it's a male. And so that's how you know, this is a female. We're gonna get her back. That's heavy. Oh yeah, you got one. Come on, buddy. He's got color. Come there on, it is. Come on, all the way in. There it is. Go. He's got a crab. What do we got here? Survey says. Oh, that looks very feminine. To yeah, me. It's a female. Uh, the females have a great ride here. It's like ladies' night over here. They get a free meal, and then we just yeah. let them off, send them back on their way. Come here, sweetheart. Your claws in there too. I don't want to rip that off. <laughs> Don't get got. It hurts. I don't want to get got. Here we go. And this little girl going back in the bay. Bye, sweetheart. Yoy. <laughs> Better luck next time. Oh, that one's heading straight toward it. Oh, oh he's on it. Grabbed. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. The other one's moving back. Oh, oh you're going to oh. get a two for one special here? Maybe. Yep, yep. He's running for it. He wants it. Okay. About on it. Ooh. All right. give he it, has give it, give two time, crabs on the trap. Now he's just letting them start that meal. There they go. Bite to eat. Okay. Good as time as any, bud. You got them both. Got them both. Got yeah. Them both. Oh, oh, one got away. Got the other one's a big old female. Female. But female. It was a catch, at least. All righty. Let's see here. I'll try not to get yep. broke on so yeah, out there. Dude. Stop lady, it. Chill out. She only has one, one, uh, one claw there. She got double snared. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I got her. Come here, sweetheart. Oh, you got, you got, yeah, I see you now. Mag's gonna release her. I'm there. Oh, you, you pulled there that one off too. I'm her. very proud of you, good job. Okay, here we go. All right, that is going to do it for our day. A little outside of our norm, but fun all the way through. We began our morning at Sunset Beach with the tide going out as far as it could with the clam gun in hand, the shovel, and 
It's a lot of motivation. <laughs> we got out there and we hunted those clams and it took us a little while, but then we got the hang of it and we were spotting them and just moving from one to the next. We ended up getting 11 total and it was a good time. The truth is, is I've never done clamming before either. So that was a first time for me. So we had to figure it out. And yeah. when, when we started, none of us quite knew how to spot them. But after those first few times, keen eyed Truax Outdoors <laughs> here was spotting them every time. He'd point it out and one of us would hit it with the gun and the shovel, get in the bucket. Once that was over, we went out for lunch and waited for the tide to come all the way back in because that's when the crabs want to come and get their lunch on. Once they started moving in, they were moving in like fire. We must have pulled up easily 40 crabs while we Easy. were out here. Unfortunately, only one of those was a male and he was just a little bit too short for us to be able to take home. We had fun just the same and we hope you guys enjoyed coming out here shellfish hunting with us and finding a few geocaches along the way. Can't wait to see what the next part of our trip here in Oregon has in store. Like this video, subscribe, stay tuned for updates, and we'll see you out, out on, on the, the trail. trail. I'm back, that's right, we're back. It's a good girl, who's a good girl? Yeah, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's a good girl. Hi buddy, hi buddy, I take come here, come here. I can come here. Come on, no, right? Oh, oh. Who's that girl? Who's that girl? Yeah.